So we're gonna do a craps game. And this is just a really simple version of it. Basically, it's got a dice game, so you're gonna throw two dice. If you get, on the first throw, if you throw a seven or 11, and this is um, throwing two dice. So if you throw a seven or 11 on the first throw, you win. If you throw a two, three, or 12 on the first throw, you lose. And then if you throw any other number, that number becomes what's called a point. So any other number is a point. And so then what you're going to do is throw again And if you throw a seven any time after, so any other throw after, you lose. If you throw a number equal to the point you win, so I'm just gonna put or number equal to point, you win. And what we wanna do, this is, this program is going to take quite a few of the things we've already learned and kind of put them together. So this is going to require some loops, some if and else statements. And what we want to do with the functions is we want a function that tells the user the rules. Well, I'm just going to say displays rules. So basically what I just wrote on the screen. And a function for a menu, so this is do you want to play or not, and then we maybe some other functions depending on what we decide we like we're going to be displaying various things like telling them that they lost or telling them that they won and we might want to turn those into functions to display that text. So what I want to do first is put some comments in just specifying what we're going to do like our program structure. So the Part of the program, part of the, let's go back to the OneNote. Um, so the very first thing we want to do is display the rules to the user and possibly display a menu. So I'm just going to have a um, display rules. And we want to do this with a function. And then possibly, so after we've displayed the rules to the user and we know they want to play, what what do you think we should do here? Like, what do you think we should do? We've already done it. So we're simulating two dice, right? And we know that a dice can be anywhere between one and six. So we want to generate two random numbers. So essentially them hitting enter is them rolling the dice. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. So we're just going to simulate rolling the dice. Yeah, so we'll simulate the dice. And then after we simulate the dice, so we this is this program has a few it has a couple different conditions. So it has conditions that relate to the first roll, and then it has conditions that relate to every roll after the first roll that are different. So we need to figure out how we're going else to test if. those. Say that again? If, else if. Yeah, so we'd probably do a um, if, else if to test, what would this be? The test the, so the if would be the first one, then else if would go to the second. What do you mean the first and second? So the first roll of the dice, you can have if it is a 7 or 11, um, then it would display you win. Mm -hmm. Further, you could have if it's a 2, 3, or 12, they lose. Yeah. On the conditions that it doesn't meet any of those, it will go to else if, and then you can restate it so now it can do. If it's seven now, else if, else if have them roll again and go through another if statement of if it's seven. Yeah. 
So on the second condition, though, we don't know. Like, they could end up just having to roll once again, or they might end up rolling eight more times. Like, it, like we don't know how many times they're going to end up rolling the second time or third time. Because it depends on what number they get. Because the first condition, um, it, like, the first throw they roll once, and then it's just whatever they get determines the rest of the game. Yeah, for the, the first condition, we want to use that L if, else if. So let's just do to test uh, first roll. For every subsequent roll, yeah, we'd want to do a loop, cause, just because we don't know how many times they're going to end up re-rolling it. So we're going to have a, I'll just put a loop to test second roll. Okay, I think this is um, sufficient to get started. So let's let's start up here. So the first thing we wanted to do was a function to display our menu. So the way I do these sometimes is I'll just type the function call and then I'll go pro I'll go put the code in the function for what I want it to do. Um, so this is going to be displaying the rules, so I'm just going to call it display rules. So this is our function call. And then we need, and then we can go up here and work on our function. So um, this is going to be a void function because it's not returning anything, it's just displaying text to the screen. So we have void, and then it's just going to be display rules. And then, and let's just do this for now. We can fill this in later. Okay, and let's also, before we do the menu, so what I was imagining with this display menu is that we would give the user the option to play the game more than once. But let's, what, uh, what I do a lot of times with with that, so we're basically going to be using a loop to keep repeating the program as long as the user says they want to keep playing. So yeah, we'd want to use a while loop, but what I'm thinking, the, the, the easiest, I think the easiest way to write this program is going to first get the logic working for one game and then turn it into multiple games, yeah. So let's um, start with simulating the dice. So we already decided we need some random numbers here. So what do we, what, how do we, how are we going to do that? Say that again. Yeah. So. So tell me the code exactly. So we need um, CSTD. All right. Okay. So now we, so we have our um, number generator set up, our random number generator set up. So now, what do we want to do? Yeah, so dice one is equal to, and then this is just, and we need to declare these variables, so we can do that in a second. Um, I'm just going to use this equation that's in the book, just because it makes this easy. And then we basically just need the same equation for the second dice, right? Oops. Yeah, 
And then we need to declare our, our, some of our variables. So what variables do we have so far? Oh, this max value and min value should probably be capital, just because they're constants. And the max value is 6. And the min value is 1. So I'm going to change these. All right, so we have our um, two dice roll. Now what, so the game isn't asking for just the one dice, it's asking for the total value. Yeah, so let's, what should we call this? Yes. Yeah, I wanna specify it to the roll though. Just, so I'm gonna call it roll total is equal to dice one plus dice two. So now we need to declare the roll total. All right, so we've rolled our dice. Now we need to, and actually let's just see if this is even working so far. Um, so let's just see out I usually like to test things as I'm writing the code just to make sure everything's working because it makes it easier to find logic errors or problems. Okay, so roll total seven. 12. So it looks like that's working. Take this off. Okay, so we have our our dice. Now we need to test the conditions for the game. So this is where we decide we wanted to do the if else if statements. So what what do we need here? This is for the first roll. So that's that will be that they win. So let's do a C out. You rolled and then tell them what they rolled. And then maybe a C out. And let's do this as a function. So this is going to be the, let's just call it u win. And so go up here and so I'm thinking this is just going to be a function that tells them a whole bunch of like yeah, we can just start with this, but we can add to it later. Oops. Okay, let's go back down to our if statement. Okay, what do we need next? What? Else if. Yeah, else if. And then. Yeah, so if roll total is equal to two or roll total is equal to three 
or roll total is equal to 12. Then it's just tell them what they rolled because the thing is if you just tell them you lost or you won and don't tell them what they rolled they're not going to believe you that they lost. So you have to tell them what they rolled. <laughs> so, okay. You rolled and then let's do let's just call this, let's just do this as a function you lost. So go up here and do our function. So notice how I'm not really putting much in these functions now. I like I want to get the structure of the code and then I'll go back later and put like the actual output in these. All right, so now So we're going to have an else And then this is basically where they're going to be doing a second roll, right? So what I think we should do is ask them, like tell them what they rolled, and then ask them if they want to roll again. So let's um, do a C out. You rolled and then tell them the roll total, and then end line, and I'm going to do a C out. Do you want to roll again? And let's get this as a yes or no, like Y or N. Um, so yes or no, and then C in. And I'm going to call this choice, so we need to declare this because we haven't declared choice. So this is going to be a character. And then for the second roll, this is the one where we don't know how many times they're going to end up rolling. What? So we need to do, we needed to do a while loop. What will our condition be here? Well, it's going to be the, the, uh, it's, yeah. Couldn't we, shouldn't we include the, you roll, do you want to roll again within the while loop? So each time they have the option? Yeah, you're right. So let's move this into the while loop. I'm sorry, I know you had a question, but I was a little distracted. We might have to retype that. <laughs> well, anyway, so we have the while loop. Um, we could do a do while loop. Actually, that would make them automatically re roll though, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we might not, they might not want to re, re roll. Would you ask them to jump to the Say that again. Well, they, they might say no, like they might not want to re roll. And I'm going to do this just so that it, like, just so if they put in a upper or lower case, it'll still work. Yeah, so let's do a C out. Well, actually, let's tell them what they rolled. So this is roll total. And then see out, do you want to roll again? And then this is going to be yes or no. 